the single worst thing ever happened to me today. My kettle broke. But thanks to Amazon and same day delivery, it's on its way. So before I help you with scheduling every single Instagram thing that exists on the platform, your girl needs caffeine. Let's go get it. Like, it just died. It just stopped working. This seems appropriate for today. Seems like a pumpkin spice chai latte kind of a day. We're both just waiting for the Amazon guy. This is where we wait. Right, buddy? Teapot. It was nice while it lasted. I have to pick our, our number. I would like it. Let's do a 180 and start. Now let's get to work. Literally every single thing you want, need to post on the gram, you can now schedule. And scheduling is so vital for your success because it's gonna allow for you to get ahead on your work. It's gonna allow for you to set it and forget it because we all need a little mental health break from our phones and our digital situation. It allows us to have consistency, which is what all of us need when it comes to the social media life because if we're not consistent, how are the platforms gonna know what's going on? How are we gonna like hold ourselves accountable, stay in the schedule? all of the things. So we have to split our services. We are going to be doing stuff on the phone and we're going to be doing stuff on the computer. So our computer is where we can schedule posts and we can schedule reels and we can schedule our stories, but you can also schedule your reels on your phone as well, which is I think the preferred way to do it because then you can use like the native audio and all of that kind of stuff, which we'll talk about. And, and alternatively as a third option for you. I will show you how you can schedule your content in Sendable, which is my preferred social media management tool that we use at my agency because then we're able to just have one place. We can like mass upload everything and put it where it's supposed to go. So let's go first dive in to the computer. So to do this from the desktop, we are going to first be in Creator Studio. So in Creator Studio, you're just going to go to business.com forward slash Creator Studio. You're going to select Instagram. It defaults to Facebook. And so this is what it looks like. So you're going to go up here to the upper right hand corner and we're going to hit create. We're going to create a post or we can create a reel. So let's go into post to get started with this simply. So you just select the account you'd want to post it to. Okay. So we put our message in. You want to add your location. Like if you're a brick and mortar based business or you want to talk about the place that you are, you would do that. Then you're going to go add your content. So we're just going to select our post graphic and we're going to upload it to where we want to go. So you can select post to Facebook if that's part of like your journey, you can do that. So up bottom right hand corner where you have published, you're going to hit schedule and you're going to pick your day and time that you would want your post to go up. And then you're just going to hit schedule. Now, if we want to do an Instagram reel, it's the same thing. Create, we're going to go here to reel. We're going to select our account and then we're going to do the same thing. Let's ignore this post. So I'm just going to go select my file that I want to post, make sure it's sized and lengthened the way that you would like it to. You can select your cover image here over to the right. So you can kind of know like what it is. So this is going to be like what it would be from the graphic or 
you can upload a cover image if like that's what you want to do. So this would be what it would look like for Instagram when we're scheduling this out. You also can choose a still frame from a video if you want, but we're just gonna stick with it this way. I think it's important to have a custom cover so that you're able to look really clean and crisp for all of the things. So we're gonna go back to our real information. We have this all in here. And then you go down the bottom right corner. We're gonna hit schedule, pick when we want this to go live. And then we just hit schedule. We'll know when it's ready to go because it's going to have this down here is gonna be like all set. So you have to wait for it to finish loading before you can move on from what's happening here on the frame. So that's how you can post your reels and your posts in Creator Studio. Now you cannot do stories from Creator Studio. So an alternative option for you is to go into the Meta Business Suite. So if you go to business.facebook.com, you're able to kind of select whatever account you're in and then you can have your access to your whole back end. So you're gonna go over to Planner on the far left hand side and then you're going to go into the upper hand corner and hit Create. Now you can create a post and a reel the same way that we just did it. So you just select post, you type your message, you can select if you want Facebook or Instagram and it shows you what it will look like for newsfeed or for mobile if that's like what you wanna see. So you can kind of have an idea that's gonna look the way you want it to. And then right here is where you hit schedule. But what we want to do is we need to schedule a story. So you're gonna go down here and we're gonna hit schedule stories. We're going to select what we want and we're going to add our media. That's nice is you can select more than one here, right? So we're gonna open this up and we have each one that we want. So what we can do is like, this is what's gonna look like. This is what's gonna look like. This is what's gonna look like. We can add, we can crop our image if we need to. We can add text if we want to over our screen, just like we can on our phone. We can add stickers, all right? So we can have this fun interaction and we can also add a swipe up link. So if we have a like a shopping link or something specifically that we need to send it to, if I wanna do like an ad about this local city guide, I would wanna add this link here and I would want it to go somewhere, all right? And I could add a link for like a swipe up and it would go in to the link, okay? So it's able to do it. So then I have, um, once I have it all looking the way that I want, it to I have up to my 10 media I can go over here to my arrow and I can hit schedule my stories to go out when I want them to go this is like a little bit of information let me know that I can only do like the last seven days all that jazz so this is gonna be really great especially like, like when I'm recording this it's the holiday time so I can just really streamline my whole process and I can hit schedule my story and then as you can see I have all of these things that I've already scheduled and posted. I can go to my day where I have my stuff posted and I can see this is what I just scheduled on here and it's what it's gonna go out. So you can see with the planner, we know where our content is going, to what platform, as you can see here in the right hand corner. And then also I can just select it and I can see like which account it's going to and stuff. So this is really great having the planner for scheduling out all of our content and being able to do it all from the business suite. It just makes things really easy. Now, how do we schedule carousel posts? We're gonna go into create a post. We're going to select our platform. We're going to have our text, so text here. And we're going to add our photos, upload from our desktop, All right? Select multiple files, same situation. So now what I need to do is I need to edit what it's gonna look like. So if I wanna add my own images of any kind, text on here, stickers, alternative text, I can do all of that in this edit photo feature. I can tag people, like if there's a brand I'm working with or a person, I can just tag it and type in who I want it to be and it'll pull up what they are, I can tag a brand in here, save it, and then I have my text here. And this is what we see in our message as well. And then once it all looks the way that we want it to, we can test it here, see how it looks. All right, we know that that's what's gonna look like. And then we can go and we can hit schedule and schedule it to the day that we want it to go to. As we can see, it will show up on our planner as part of our content that's going to publish and it can be found right here. And we can see which account it's going to right here. So that is how you do it. So honestly, the planner in Creator Suite allows for you to really do everything that you're trying to do. You can upload lots of things into bulk and you can make them look nice and pretty and it works really well. The limitations that you run into when it comes to scheduling through the desktop versus the app is as follows. One, with Reels, you don't have the ability to like record your Reel in the platform which means you also can't edit and 
and like add in your closed captions and stickers. And you can't use a trending audio in the background. So you can't like use someone else's sound when you're creating a, a piece of content. Like this is for completed reels only, like if you've made them in another place. From stories, you can't make like interactive buttons like with links that go places. And with posts, you can't do like shopping links. So if that's something that's important to you, you're gonna need to head over to the phone, which is where we're gonna go now. Three days later. Okay, so Instagram is notorious for not mass releasing features to everybody. So I don't have this feature. So I had to take a little break, which is why there's a whole costume wardrobe page situation that's happened here to ask my content manager for our team to send me a tutorial about this. So this is how it works. So we're going to go to our phone. Okay, so she hits the profile icon in the bottom right hand corner and she has schedule content right there at the top. And then you're able to just hit schedule now and you can create the content that you want. So when you hit schedule post, it's gonna allow for you to pick the kind of content that you wanna create. You can do reels, you can do a post. And so you can just kind of scroll through your camera feed and find the right video or piece of content that you want to post. Now, once you've selected what you want See to schedule, you upload it, you can do all of your modifications, whether it's text on the screen, adding a specific sound clip, whatever it may be. And then you're gonna hit that next button. This is where you'll add your caption and you'll hit that edit cover button and you can select whatever cover you want, whether it's a specific frame on the reel or if you have a photo that you would like to upload. And then what to do is just scroll down to advanced settings and you're going to hit schedule this reel or this content. And then you're gonna be able to just select the date or the time to do this. And then it's just gonna go into your drafts of your phone and it's where you'll be able to find it. Now, alternatively, if you want to create from your home feed, all you have to do is swipe from right to left or hit the plus sign at the top where it says create and then you can have that same option in there. So by hitting that, you'll be able to then go in and select the media that you want and then add all of your updates and then go down again to advanced settings, schedule content and create it from there. Okay, so the advantage of creating and scheduling content in the app is that you're gonna be able to use all of the native features, including like selecting your cover, you're gonna be able to use a sound that is not like an original sound from you. It's gonna be able to tap into that trending audio and utilize that. You also can utilize the templates that are available within Instagram, which we have a whole library and options for that you can check out down in the description below. But you can just like kind of pick your templates and you can schedule those from there too. So it gives you more in-app features that are available that you don't have if you're using Creator Studio as an option for scheduling your content. Okay, so another alternative option for you is to have a third-party tool like Cinnable, which is the social media management software that we use at the agency to manage all of our accounts. Now, the advantage of this is twofold. One, you can bulk upload, so you can like kind of select everything and upload it. And two, you can schedule out your reels and stuff as well. So you cannot, at the time of this recording, bulk schedule reels, you do have to do this one at a time. So let me show you what it looks like. You're going to compose. You're just gonna select the account you wanna add it to. You're going to attach your image or your video. You're gonna attach your video. You're gonna type in your message here and add any hashtags that you might want to do. You can go in here and hit edit. And what this will do is allow for you to select the cover image that you want for your video. If you want, you cannot upload a custom thumbnail. You can only use the slider as an option. And you can, of course, title your video, add any details or tags that you want, which is really helpful for being able to categorize your video and repurpose it for other places, especially if you're gonna be putting this on like Instagram or Facebook as a repurposing situation. You're gonna hit that save button, have your message. Then we go down here to do post a reel. We're gonna schedule this as a reel. We can also share it to our feed or unselect this. So once you upload your video, you've selected your cover and everything is working the way it is. You'll notice this changed a little bit. The reason for that is you have to have the very specific file. So it has to be less than hundred megabytes and it has to be sized the correct way. That's when using a tool like Adobe Express will be super helpful for you if you need to do any resizing. And then you just go down here to the calendar to hit schedule. You can pick your specific day and time of when you'd like this to go out and then you just hit schedule and it'll be ready to go. Now, all that being said, now we can go here to bulk upload and this is where we can just test 
and do all of our messaging. If we have like bulk things that we need to do or whatever it is, you can go in here, you can set all of your dates for all of the different days that you want. You can put in any links that you have if you need to do that. Again, because we're using it for Instagram, we're not gonna probably put any links in our descriptions. And then we're just gonna start attaching our images. So all we have to do is go into all of these different images and we are able to upload our images, set the times, and then just hit import and it's gonna upload all of them in mass and make it so much easier for you to schedule everything out long-term. And that's how you schedule everything, anything that you want to possibly create and put up on to Instagram. It's really just finding a platform that really works for you that makes you feel good about it. But the thing that's important to know is like, what messaging should you have? What media should you be creating? How can I make sure that what I'm posting is working and converting sales? Well, that's where you're gonna watch this video that I have you right here, which breaks down for you how a social media funnel works and what content you should create where and why.